and hello, my name is Sarah. I'm the founder of QB Kachina. In this video, we're going to be talking about some essential tools that you need to make pasta. So you don't need a lot to make good pasta at home, but I will say that there are maybe five or six different tools that will make your life a lot easier and will help you create a variety of shapes. So the first one that I think is probably the most important is having a wooden work surface to mix and knead your dough on. The reason why wood is so important is because pasta likes wood. It's a warmer texture. Pasta dough doesn't like to be cold. So working on marble, marble or stainless steel um, can make the dough just a little bit harder to work. And then the wood also adds more texture to your dough. So because the, the wood is porous and has a grain to it, it's going to add more texture and more, more of a porous texture to your pasta dough, which means that your pasta can absorb sauce more easily. So a good pasta board, um, the one that I have here is double lipped. So it has a lip at the top and a lip at the bottom, allowing it to rest on the countertop. And even though I'm, I'm pushing on the board and everything, it will stay put where it is. And it's fairly large in size, giving me ample uh, space to work. So. I like this one a lot. Um, the second tool that is really important is a pasta machine. So this here is a hand cranked pasta machine that attaches to your counter and then you, you roll and sheet out the pasta through it. So you can use a rolling pin and roll your dough out by hand, but I think for most beginners and most people, uh, that is not the easiest thing to do. It takes a lot of skill and practice. A pasta machine is much easier to navigate and gives you a really nice even dough and texture. So the next thing I would say that is really important is a bench scraper. And I really like to use a metal bench scraper when I'm making pasta because it is tougher, it doesn't bend, it's not as flimsy as plastic ones. And I don't really like using wood ones either because they are not as sharp as the metal ones so you can't scrape up the dough as easily. So a really good sturdy bench scraper, preferably made of metal, I think is ideal. The one I have here also has measurements in centimeters which is really helpful when you're measuring out the length or thickness of your dough and you're trying to make sure you have the right length for the shape that you're making, so. Next is a fine mist spray bottle. Really comes in handy when you are making a dough and maybe it's too dry and you just wanna add a little bit of moisture to it. Um, of having a fine mist, like this one, that are, that are, I think these are used for like plants or something. But having a fine mist spray bottle is really helpful because it really evenly disperses the moisture and it adds just a little bit at a time. This is also really helpful when you're making stuffed pasta shapes like ravioli or tortellini and you're laying out your sheet of dough and it starts to get dried out and then you can't seal it together. Um, just spraying this over very, very lightly can help add some more moisture into it um, without totally saturating the dough and making it sticky and wet. Another thing that is really helpful to have is some sort of wheel uh, in your arsenal. So we have a lot that I've put out here, a lot of different kinds depending on what you're hoping to do, what kind of pasta you're hoping to make, but even if you just have one, that can really help you do a lot of different things. So if I had to recommend just one, I would say this one right here, which is dual wheel. It has a straight edge wheel, which is really great Like if you're just trying to cut your sheet of dough into a rectangle or you are making lasagna and you just want to have a perfect rectangle sheet or you're cutting out ravioli, whatever it is. And then it also has this pretty fluted wheel side, which can add decorative edges to your dough, no matter what shape you're making. So I love this one because it's dual purpose and I'm all about multi-functionality in the kitchen. But other ones that we have, we have um, sort of these adjustable pasta bikes here, which this one actually comes with four wheels similar to this. Um, so you can cut out a bunch of squares or ribbons all at once. And then we also have these fluted wheels here, which just cut out different size fluted um, edges on your, on your pasta dough. So having one of those at least really, really helpful. Ravioli stamps are also something that I think could come in handy or maybe a ravioli mold um, if you're more into like the tablet style ones. But this just really helps you to make pretty stuffed pasta shapes. So this one's like a, a flower shaped here, which is really, really pretty, has the scalloped edges. And then we also have just a classic round one as well. That's, that's pretty helpful as well. And then a gnocchi board is probably one of the most versatile pasta tools that you can have. Um, you can make cavatelli on this, you can make gnocchi on this, anything that has ridges, the gnocchi board is really good for that shape. Cool thing about this one in particular is that it comes with wooden dowels, which are helpful when you're making tube-shaped pastas like garganelli, or you wanna make your own rigatoni at home. It's a very, very versatile tool that is even made even more versatile by the, by the dowel functionality too. Last but not least, 
This is not really for making the pasta so much as it is to cook the pasta, but I think that this is 100% necessary even if you're cooking just dried pasta at home. It is a spider strainer or just a sieved strainer, and I think that the bigger it is, the better because then you can scoop out a lot of pasta at once. The reason why I really like this too over a colander is because when you're, when you're moving the pasta to the sauce, it's really important to bring a lot of that starchy water with it. So with this, you can just scoop out your pasta and then put it into your sauce directly. You don't have to fuss with the colander and then you can save the pasta water and add more pasta water to your sauce as you're cooking it together, which will just really help the sauce button to the pasta really well. So this is another one that we don't sell in our shop, but I absolutely recommend. So that's it. Those are the essential pasta tools uh, in our opinion. I uh, would love to know what you all think. And I will link below um, some more resources for making pasta as well as links to all of these tools and where you can find them.